Hi everybody, my name is Jim with Full Moon Adventure Club and today we're gonna to be going over how to change out the anode rod and also flush your hot water heater on your RV. Now an anode rod is important to change every six months to a year um, because what it does is basically attract all the harmful minerals and um, sometimes you have acidic water and uh, with some bad stuff in there and that's gonna corrode the inner lining of your water heater. The anode rod is typically made out of magnesium and that's gonna attract all of those harmful minerals first and it will erode the anode rod instead of corrode the inside of your tank. So it attracts all the harmful stuff to it first, sacrificing itself for the well-being of your water heater lining. Now while you're changing this out, it's also a very good idea to flush your water heater out using a water heater flush wand and I'll put a link in the description down below if you want to pick one of those up as well as an anode rod. And uh, we're just going to go over that process. It's pretty simple. Everybody should do it. And wow, this is from my water heater from years ago when I first did it. And I don't know that that had ever been done before. So this is an absolute great example of just how bad a water heater can be if you don't do this on a regular basis. So let's jump out there and take a look. So here we can see our anode rod there at the bottom. And it's been a long time since uh, I think this one's ever been changed out. So what you're going to want to do here is go ahead and take your 1 and 1 16th inch socket here. And I've got a nice big half inch drive and we're going to go ahead and just remove that. We're going to let that drain on out. <laughs> And there you can see uh, what's, there's nothing left of this anode rod. <laughs> so it is beyond time for that to be changed. And you can see a lot of uh, debris and gunk pouring out of there. So this thing is very, very much so past due uh, getting washed out. So you're going to go ahead and let that drain. And now what we're going to do is now that we have our our tank flush wand hooked up to our garden hose here. We're just going to stick that inside and rotate it around to make sure that we get uh, all as much of that debris as we can out of there. And we're probably going to see some of that come pouring out because it's been a long time. So just want to insert that, turn it on and start washing that around. You can see all that gook pouring out of there. That's no good. You don't want that. Oh yeah, that's bad. I'm going to turn that off for a minute and let some of that water pour on out of there. And you can see you have all this debris that's just been building up in there, all this calcium and lime and bad stuff from the old anode rod. So definitely need to get all that out of there. If you want it to drain a little bit faster, it's important to note that you can also open up your pressure relief valve up top. And that'll give air a way to get into the top of the tank and allow it to drain a little bit faster for you. All right, and then we're just gonna keep on going until we get all that gook and debris out of there. You can see just a ton of debris coming out of this thing. It is a wonder it is still working at all. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm going to watch out for that. Okay, so now that I wiped off the camera lens a little bit from that explosion, we'll uh, 
keep on rinsing it out because there is a lot of gook in there. Might even notice some big chunks that don't want to come out. You may have to kind of help those out a little bit. There's a ton of deposits in this thing. You just want to kind of keep rinsing it out until you're no longer getting any of that debris or gunk coming out of there. And then you should be in decent shape. I think that's going to be about it for us. I think that's going to get it. That was a ridiculous amount of debris. Now we're going to go ahead and replace that anode rod now that we have everything all cleaned out. And you can see that the, this anode rod has uh, definitely done its job uh, a long time ago. <laughs> you can notice the difference here. New anode rod, old anode rod. So it definitely took one for the team. We've got a little bit of Teflon tape right here around the top, leaving a little bit of metal so it's gonna connect and ground itself. And then we're just gonna slide that into place. You wanna make sure that you're not cross-threaded at all when you get it started. And once it's going in nice and smooth there, we're going to go ahead and switch over to our 1 and 1 16th inch socket here. Reverse directions and tighten that baby down. Now you don't have to go too crazy with the tightness, but you do want it tight. And then you can always fill your hot water heater up with water, see if you have any leaks. If it's dripping a little bit, you can always tighten it a little bit more and uh, you should be good to go. I think that's going to be good for us. So there you have it. And uh, you can obviously see what a nano rod is going to do uh, as far as sacrificing itself instead of the inner lining of your hot water heater. Uh, never wait this long to do yours. Uh, this is an old restoration project of mine and uh, I don't think it's ever been done by the looks of it. So <laughs> it, was, it was past due. And then make sure you close your, uh, your relief valve up top that we're using to give uh, airflow into the tank for faster water drain. Make sure you close that off and uh, now you're good to go. And there's a good view of all the uh, sludge that came out that uh, just didn't wash away. So it was more than that, but uh, there's a nice big pile of it. So you can tell it was definitely time to clean that out. Otherwise, that's going to ruin your hot water heater really, really fast. Not to mention all that debris is going to be in your drinking water and uh, going through all your filters and everything else. So it's just not a good thing. That's going to get into your, all your sinks, your pipes. So make sure you clean those out regularly. Well, my mind was absolutely blown when I first flushed this out. That is gross. That is a lot of gunk in the hot water tank. Um, and now I change the anode rod every six months to a year and I flush it every single time. It has never been like that again. Thank goodness, because that was a real eye opener for what can happen to your water heater um, if left unsupervised. So definitely make sure you do that. Um, every six months to a year to make sure that everything's running properly. My name is Jim with Full Moon Adventure Club. I really hope that video helped you out. And if it did, please like, share, subscribe. That really helps me out. So until the next video, thank you so much for watching and happy camping.